friends i am jitendra basna today we will going to see a regex filter with the mule shop so what is a regex filter if you want to validate the message payload for any message field depending on the some regex pattern so you use the regex filter for example like if you want like your payload should be a numeric uh, it should contain all the numeric value so you can apply the filter to verify the message right so today we are going to see a various scenarios related to regex filter so for that we will create we will start uh, creating new application in the anypoint studio i will say new new project i will say regex filter application I will select runtime as a 3.8.3, so there can be more than one runtime in your environment. So you can select depending on your requirement. So I will not going to do anything with Maven. I will not any doing anything with the GitHub source control. I will not going to add any API kit. So simply I will click on the finish. First thing, I will drag and drop HTTP listener component in the message canvas region. Okay, I will going to configure the HTTP listener component. First thing, we have to configure connector configuration. I will click on this add button. Okay, I will say okay. Everything I will keep as a default settings. I will not going to change anything. I will say okay. Path I will say regex. Allow method I will say post. Next thing, I will look for the regex filter. I will search for regex filter in the message palette. I will drag and drop regex. So I want my message payload to be numeric. So I will paste the regex pattern. So this is my pattern. The other thing, you know, like if the message payload matches a pattern, fine. Then it should be saved into the some file location. So I will drag and drop file location folder file connector into the message processor region. I want to create one folder. So what I will do, I will create one folder new. I will say folder. I will say out. I finally say finish. So I, my path will be source test resources out. See, my path is the source test resources out. That's it. Fine. So we are ready. So what I will do, I will start the application. Yeah, one minute. Uh, let me drag and drop catch exception strategy. Into the error handling. Fine. Let me set payload into the exception strategy. I will say payload doesn't match. Define pattern does not match a defined pattern. So let me uh, run the application. I will say save everything. Okay. Let's wait till application get deployed. Now you can see your application is deployed. Now I will use the postman to test my application. So this is my message payload. I will change it to text plain and I will say send. See, I got the response back. Uh, I'm sorry, I wrote. So we will go and verify if output file has been created or not. I think our one output file has been created. Now, next thing I will say uh, some one to three with some characters. So this message should not be accepted and it should throw the exception. But we see we haven't got anything written. Right? And we will verify out folder. No output. But problem is that how client will be come to know my message has been fit. We have already set the exception handling. Uh, 
let me go to the okay we have done that but still this, uh, whenever message filled uh, does a field with regex filter it is not able to you know like uh, send this error um, as payload doesn't does not match defined pattern so for that what we have to do i have something called message filter we have to drag and drop message filter and we have to wrap a regex filter with a message filter so what we can do we have to select the regex filter for under the message filter so i can say regex filter next let me copy the pattern okay i will say control v i will say finish and you have to check this checkbox throw on unaccepted suppose if message is not accepted it got it doesn't validate it so you have to go to the catch exception strategy so i will say throw on accepted unaccepted let me save it again okay so it is deploying the application for you it has done deployed okay sorry now let me send this message see we got the error payload doesn't match the defined pattern so let me uh, test with the correct flow correct message okay uh, we don't get any error so let me refresh out folder see the second file has been generated okay so we will do some uh, uh, like if you want like you can go to the message again you can edit so if you want to accept only characters so what you can do you can change your filter like i will say e to z capital e to z okay i will say finish i will save it so it can deploy the application again for you once you save it deploy the application again for you so now i will send this one two three we got the error because we have changed our pattern we got the error payload doesn't match now i will say a capital a s d f d i will some, add some small character see this has been accepted no error if so generate the third message see we can see see okay if i add some more uh, numeric character in that will it be accepted no if payload doesn't match the defined pattern so basically what you have to do to generate the exception you have to wrap you have to wrap the regex filter with a message filter okay hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching